and now we need to add just a small nice touch to to our video to, to make it look nicer and that's by moving the photos as they are showed so for example we need to play meaning meaning to say that we need to play by uh, with one of these these parameters to make it move and let's choose the position parameter of the photo so this is the original position we can move it upward downward or to the right or to the left and you will see that the position has two two values one of them representing the x axis and one of them representing the y axis so if you play around with this one it will move it horizontally and this one which is for the y axis will move it upward and downward you can undo what, whatever you have done by 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 pressing control and z let's suppose that we need this starting position then we add a keyframe because we want we want the value of the position to change with respect to time so we make sure that our timeline pointer is 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 at the beginning of the layer press on the stopwatch it will automatically add a keyframe with this value and then we come over here to the end and mm, let's move a bit backward to see the the frame of the first photo which is this frame and you can you can differentiate between the first the the layer you are selecting or not by by watching these small squares so we move the position downward so if we run preview what we have done by pressing 0 on the numerical keyboard we'll notice that the first photo was moving smoothly now we are going to do the same thing with the second photo and you can access the position parameter by selecting the layer then pressing P on your keyboard so by that you can save space by just showing the the parameter you are interested in to make our work easier we can hide the upper layer so we can see the layer we are interested in let's move to our starting position add a key add a keyframe or press on the stopwatch and it will add a keyframe at the beginning of the second layer then we move till the end of the second layer and we move upward here we go and we need to do something else for the third one which is playing around with the scale parameter since we can scale it up and down we can move a zoom out like uh, motion so let's suppose that this is our final value so we move our timeline pointer till the end of the composition or the clip and only then we press on the scale parameter we move to the beginning of the clip then we zoom in okay so if you run preview what we have done okay pretty cool all right awesome now how about we do a video just like the one we did uh, in the getting started tutorial for sony vegas which was just uh, three photos fade out a, a fade a cross fade transition and we added some text between them which was uh, thanks for watching 
we'll do the same right now but before that we need to mark the the points on the timeline where our transitions started and ended and we do that by unselecting anything by pressing anywhere on the composition panel or sorry the timeline panel and make sure that you are not selecting any of those put your timeline pointer wherever you want to add a marker and press the star or multiplication on the numerical keyboard which will add a marker similar to the one in Sony Vegas we add another one right here here and here so clearly now we can know where our transition started and ended and you can also add a marker to a layer by selecting the layer then pressing the the star or the numer uh, multiplication on the numerical keyboard but we don't need to do that so we can undo it and now we can we we are going to do something that will make our work easier and will save a lot of space which is pre-composition or pre-comp in short which what will do is that it will create a composition with the same length of this composition but it will group the everything in that composition and treat it as one part and to create a, a pre-composition you just need to select the layers you want to include in that particular composition by pressing ctrl shift and c from car you can name the composition it will have the same settings as the source composition unless you went and changed the settings of the new pre-composition let's call it photos background press ok and they, it will take you to a new composition you will not notice any difference but if you went back to the original or the first composition you will see that you will have we have only one layer and basically what we did is that we group the layers together so we can treat them as one and save some space so if you want to change anything in the in, in the in the pre-composition you you need to double click or just go to the pre-comp and you can do the changes here and you will notice that since we added our markers to the composition not the layers that we still have the markers intact so now we need to send a message to the viewer which is thanks for watching simply we can do that by adding a, a text layer you can do it in many ways you can come over here by first make sure that you are selecting the, the right composition come over here to layer new text and you will notice that we have a 11 seconds long text layer has been created and the the tool has changed to the type tool for example let's write things after writing what what you want you can come over here to the character panel and play around with the size of the font the font type and many things so let's choose any any font let's take the scale down by in, numerically enter the value or just press hold and drag to the right or left okay this font seems good to me okay cool now we need to trim or cut our text let's call I believe that trim is the right expression let's trim our first text by by dragging the edge of the of the layer let it end here then we add a new text 
you can change the content of the text by double clicking let's write for we need this one to begin just right here and end right here just in just like the the pre-composition now we add another text you can do it by right clicking here and this is space then go to new text watching okay when when you when you are done with typing just click anywhere to to save what the changes now we need we better go back to the selection tool by pressing V on the keyboard or by selecting this one we need to trim it the, the new layer right here and sequence them okay but now we need to do to play around with the tra with the opacity of our text in this case we need to do a crossfade transition meaning say that what the first layer will fade out and the second layer will fade in press T for opacity set a keyframe with the ending value Press T after selecting the layer. Zero. And let it end with the value of 100. Let this one. If we want to add a keyframe with the same value without changing a value, we can press. We, you, you need first to. To, to put the timeline pointer wherever you want to add a keyframe then press right here which will add a keyframe with the current value so we will notice that the the value of our of the opacity of this layer has not changed through uh, throughout this period and the ending value will, should be zero and if we run a preview what we have done we can just press zero, zero on the numerical keyboard and here it is thanks for watching we need to add another touch you will notice here that it's hard to read what is written so we can add some soft shadow so it will make it easier to read select the text layer go to layer styles drop shadow and that's it you can play around with the settings of the with the parameters of the shadow but the default one I believe it's enough and drop shadow Press zero to preview what we have done. So today I've introduced you to the user interface of After Effects, the project panel, composition panel, timeline panel, and we'll talk later about those panels. And you you learn how to create a composition add layers add add uh, and add source files play around with the parameters do a cross a cross fade out transition and pre composition and how to add text how to add some shadow and the last step is rendering our video to create a v uh, to create to convert our project from from after effects file to a video so we can simply do that by first selecting the the by first selecting the 
composition you want to render and second is by selecting the area you want to render the period sorry the or the interval this bar will select the area which will be rendered so basically we want to render the full composition we so we we let it to be the same so after selecting the composition come over here to composition tool or composition menu and select this one add to render queue and it will take you to the render queue and here are a bunch of settings for rendering uh, we will discuss those later you can choose the output by selecting this one and the render settings which will be discussed in another tutorial and um, I believe that's it so keep the default settings we'll discuss the rendering settings in another tutorial so to render our your video you just need to just press here on render button it will take some time to render usually it will take much more time but since our layers are quite simple and there are no 3d layers it finished that fast so here it is thanks for watching so as always thanks for watching and uh, i hope that you have learned something from this tutorial and don't forget to post what you have tried as a video response you'll find a link in the description for the tutorial files and uh, i will see you next time it's me Control. peace